Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of both the Military Social Work Network and the LCSW Networks. If you're new to both of these channels, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channels, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of both of these channels is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Welcome back to Ask a Military Social Worker. Uh, before we get into today's question, just a quick disclaimer that this video is not being endorsed, sponsored, or promoted by the U.S. Army, by the California Army National Guard, or by any military or governmental agencies. And the views and opinions stated in this video are mine alone. All right, so I received a question. <clears throat> Actually, I received this question almost a month ago, so I apologize for the tardy response, but I did receive a question from a, uh, a viewer who asked uh, just to explain what the difference is between the MOS 67 Delta versus the AOC 73 Alpha. Uh, actually, I'll, I'm going to read verbatim the question that was sent. Uh, so, good afternoon. I'm not sure if you have yet to discuss this in your YouTube videos, but I'm reaching out to ask the difference between MOS 73 Alpha and 67 Delta. I am asking because I am looking to commission as an Army social worker. I am previous service with eight years of service in the Air National Guard. However, I am trying to find the best way to commission into the Army. And this comes from a viewer named Jonelle. So thank you for the question, Jonelle. Thank you for your patience, because you did send this uh, question to me back in uh, September. So, uh, so in this video, I will address the difference between 73 Alpha and 67 Delta. Okay. So in... And first of all, uh, Jonelle, thank you for your service, you know, your eight years of previous service in the Air National Guard. Um, thank you for that. So for, for uh, our viewers who are not in the military, MOS is Military Occupational Specialty. So every job in the, in the military, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be specifically referring to the Army, because in the other branches they call it uh, different terminology, but in the Army they call job classifications MOS. So every job in the Army has a different MOS, okay? Um, so in the Army, a behavioral science officer's military occupational specialty is 67 Delta. So 67 Delta is the military occupational specialty or the MOS for behavioral science officers. Um, and that is a broad category. Well, it's, it's, it's a broader category than 73 Alpha, and I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. So to qualify to serve in the Army as a 67 Delta MOS, you're going to have to fit into two job classifications. One job classification is clinical psychologists, licensed clinical psychologists, and the other job classification that you will need to qualify to serve in the 67 Delta MOS is licensed clinical social worker. Okay? So those are the two job categories that you will need to qualify to commission into the Army as a 67 Delta behavioral science or behavioral health officer, okay? So if you're coming in as a social worker, you're going to need your MSW, you're going to need your LCSW, and then of course you're going to need to, you're going to have to be able to um, qualify as far as health. So um, you're going to have to go through a health exam um, through what's called MEPS, medical exam process, I think. Anyway, your recruiter will, and of course you're going to have to pass the background check and all that. Um, it's a, 
when I when I commissioned uh, almost eleven years ago now, but actually the it the the process to apply for the military was a year prior to actually uh, in my case it, it took a year uh, between the beginning of talking to the recruiter and actually raising my right hand um, to take the oath. Um, so it was a I mean. It was a it was a lengthy process of filling out paperwork and getting that paperwork approved and going through the background check, um, but I needed the MSW and I needed to have my LCSW, okay, to apply to be apply for the MOS of 67 Delta, okay. So within the 67 Delta MOS series, you have two. AOCs, areas of concentration. So social worker, social worker, social work officer is the AOC of 73 Alpha. And then if you're coming in as a clinical psychologist, a licensed clinical psychologist, that's going to be AOC 73 Bravo or 73B. Okay? So if you're a social worker, you're going to be coming in uh, under the MOS, again, of 67 Delta. And then your AOC, your area of concentration, will be 73 Alpha. Okay? So when you're, when you're uh, working with your recruiter, Jonelle, you're going to want to, um, you're going to be looking for positions that are either 67 Delta or 73 Alpha. I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but your recruiter will be able to tell you if, let's say you're, you talk to the recruiter and all the other recruiter has is 73 Bravo and you're a social worker who has an MSW and an LCSW, you're not going to qualify if all the recruiter has are 73 Bravo positions because those are positions specifically for licensed clinical social worker. However, if you talk to a recruiter and they say that they have a 67 Delta position available, then it's going to be open to both 73 Alpha and 73 Bravo. Okay. Likewise, if you talk to a recruiter and all they have is 73 Alpha and you're a social worker applying, you will qualify. For 73 Alpha. If you were a psychologist and all they had was 73 Alpha positions, you would not qualify. Even though you, you know, technically you went to school longer and you have a PhD. But um, so, so when you talk to the recruiter, uh, you're going to want to find out, you know, do they have available either 67 Delta and or 73 Alpha, since you're since you want a commission as a social work officer. Okay, I hope that is clear. Again, 67 Delta is the behavioral science or behavioral health officer. And again, that if, if the position is, if the, if the position is for 67 Delta, then you can come in either as a licensed clinical social worker or a licensed psychologist. But if the positions are specific to the AOC, then you need to meet the qualifications for that specific AOC. Okay? So I'm going to stop right there, but thank you, Jonelle, for your question. Thank you for your patience. Um, I wish you all the best. In, uh, and I know you also were asking about the social work internship program. I've made two previous videos, YouTube videos, about SWIP. So uh, at the end of this video, I will leave links to um, my previous videos about the social work internship program, otherwise known as SWIP. All right, so again, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. For all the social workers and other licensed mental health professionals, thank you for the work that you do every day for your clients, for your agency, and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.